Hey there, Dan Cuccimilio with NorCal Sports Network with another video, this time on the Juan Soto sweepstakes. And where is Soto going to land? Still early, but teams are starting to meet with him. Red Sox have met with him. The, the New York Mets have met with him and reportedly offered him $660 million. We're going to get right into it, but before we do... Let me thank our sponsor of this show and of the video. That's Chapman Law Group. Chapman Law Group, located in Marin in California. Give Chapman Law Group a call if you need them. They're licensed in all of California. If you need a attorney or any legal advice for that matter, just give Chapman Law Group a call. You can find all their information in the description of this video. All right. Juan Soto has met with the Mets. The word out is that he's been offered $660 million from Steve Cohen. Does it end there and it's a wrap? I don't think so. Here's how I see what happens. I think, again, I've said it from the beginning. I think this deal gets done over 700 when negotiations get going. Because right now, the bar has been set, supposedly. Now, we don't have any, you know, concrete evidence that that 660 is, or in fact been, that is the offer. It's been thrown out there, so we'll see. But that could be a Boris move. Who knows? Because I think this thing ends up north of 700. How does it happen? Well, the Dodgers are going to be meeting with Soto soon. And they're going to have their meeting. They're going to, maybe they try and do a deal that is over 700 with a few hundred of it in deferrals. And Soto's gets, look, I said along, it's the Mets, the Yankees, and the Dodgers. And I would not be surprised if any one of those three teams gets Juan Soto. I don't think the Dodgers. If Soto's going for the highest pay annually up front and not deferral, it's going to be with the Mets, I think. If he is looking at, because Steve Cohn could afford to pay him whatever. It's He's already come out and said, this is philanthropy money. You know, it's basically his gift to the New York City. And it, he's got so much money. This is nothing to him. He could pay him a billion dollars and it would be nothing to him. So if Steve Cohn wants to win this battle, he will. The question is, does Soto want to win more than, you know, if it's 750 to 700? I don't know. If the Dodgers get involved in this, and they get some creative financing because that's what the Dodgers do. That's what they do. Look, I uh, they're uh, an incredible financing uh, conglomerate of you know a group of owners that have a ton of money, and I've been given tickets from the Dodgers for tickets. I won based on my you know I, I'm in the insurance field financial planning, advising, and, um, you know, their group, Guggenheim, gave me four tickets. Now, if I was in L.A. on a regular basis, that was back in 2016, and I was working in Southern California for the summer, so I was offered the tickets through the group that represent, you know, from the Dodgers, and um, I could probably go all the time if I lived there, but you know, I'm not there, so I'm not going to take the tickets. But they come up with creative ways to, to get things done. So the Dodgers could do this if they get really, really creative. And Soto wants, is willing to accept that. And Soto, real goal is to be filthy rich, but also win. I don't know. It'll really come down to Soto. If, if it comes down to winning, and that is the key factor, for Juan Soto and getting paid is good enough, it's close enough, 
then he may choose the Dodgers. They're in the playoffs every year. They've been in the playoffs for 11 straight seasons and won 10 of the last 11 division titles. So how do you, who can match that? Nobody. And they're loaded for 25 with three Hall of Famers, maybe four, maybe Will Smith someday makes a run at the Hall of Fame. Well, they've actually got four sure fire if you count Clayton Kershaw, but I'm talking about the everyday lineup. They've got three, their their first three, you know, Otani, Betts, and Freeman are sure fire Hall of Famers, probably all first ballot. So why not add another first ballot in Juan Soto? I don't know if that happens though, because the Dodgers, you know, but the fact that they're meeting with him, they're going to put the full court press on him and show him what they can do for him in terms of being in the playoffs every year. It's no fun for ball players to play 162 and then lose out. These guys are competitors. They want to win. And we know how competitive Soto is. Just look at each battle when he gets up at the plate and he stares down that pitcher and he does the Soto shuffle. Um, he wants to win. And he's won a world championship. He's lost in the World Series this past year. We'll see. Is it all about money? If it's all about money and not winning, Soto could land anywhere. He could land with Boston. He could land with the Mets, stay with the Yankees. Heck, he could sign with the San Francisco Giants. And I'll tell you what, I don't think the Giants are out of this, but I think they're going to be used to push that up. And Scott Boros is going to go to back to Buster. He's already got a deal with Buster with Matt Chapman. So he's going to hold off and he's going to give, you know, who knows? Maybe Buster says, Scott, give me the last chance. Maybe the Giants make an incredible offer of 750. Maybe they push it up. And I said before, and I've said it, don't be surprised if this thing ends up over 800 million. I don't think it will go there, but it wouldn't shock me. If the Giants somehow get involved and they have a meeting with Scott Boris and Juan Soto, and we know the bar has supposedly been set at 660, look for the Giants to push it up. Even if you're not going to get – look, the Giants could go, hey, 750 thinking, no way he's going to take our deal. And what is what if he takes it? You know, uh, Then you've landed your superstar. But the Giants have can spend fifty million a year. They they're sixty seven million under the luxury tax. They could cut their spending and still sign Juan Soto. I've heard others out there say, "Well, they're not. How can they be cutting spending and they're not going to go after Juan Soto? That makes no sense. Are they going to go after Juan Soto? Look, it's the AAV and it's going to go up next year. The the tax. It's a 241, I believe, going into 25, right in that range. Giants are 67 million under. They can get much further under easily by either trading Yaz or non-tendering them. They save 10 million there. Now you're 77 million. You can move off of other players. You can probably uh, trade a uh, Taylor Rogers and save another 10 plus million there. Now you're 87 million. See how this works? Giants can do still a lot. So I just don't know where Soto's going, but I'm telling you, when it's said all said and done, I think it's over 700 million. Steve Cohen's going to be tough to beat. But if Buster Posey wants to get involved and put a number, the best thing he can do is if he's going to go to a National League team, Drive that number up because it helps you down the road from when you can have players or teams uh, financially in that bind of that luxury tax. So we'll see where Juan Soto ends up. I think a deal gets done in December. I'm going to stick to it and say a deal gets done during the winter meetings in Dallas this year. I think Juan Soto will be the news and the buzz will be all around that um, crowd and of all those reporters in Dallas 
I've been there on the floor before. It's pretty exciting when things start happening. So we'll see. But that's my take. Tell me what you think. Mets, Yankees, Dodgers, Red Sox, Giants. I'm going to stick with the Mets, but wouldn't be surprised if it's Dodgers, maybe even Giants, if he wants to come out west. Nobody knows, but the betting odds seem to think Mets or Yankees. We'll see. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you give us a comment down below here at the in the comment section there, YouTube. Check out NorCal Sports Network. Give us a like and a subscribe if you would. If you like this video, please give it a like and uh, give us a subscribe. We're on constantly. We're putting out videos, lots of videos. We got we're covering baseball. We're covering. NBA, NFL, we got you covered. Thanks for watching this video. Really do appreciate it. Have yourself a wonderful night. Let me hit the right button here. There you go. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Take care, everybody.